Hello friends, I hope you're all doing well today. Bolt Matrix here, and today we're taking a look at Transformer Cyberverse, Warrior Class, Fusion Flame Hot Rod, and Laser Beak Blast Soundwave. I picked up both of these figures over at my local Target, and I got them on sale, oddly enough. Back of the box is, well, it's the back of the box for a Cyberverse Class Warrior figure, or Cyberverse Warrior Class figure. Anyway, let's open them up and take a look. We're going to take a look at Hot Rod first, and the paint on Hot Rod is incredibly minimal. Black, red, yellow. There's a little bit of silver there on the shins, a little bit of silver on the forearms for the pipes, and then just some car deco, and then the head sculpt. The head sculpt itself isn't great, and it doesn't really look like the character does in the show. Now, Hot Rod's gimmick is just bad. It's just bad. And it works by just squeezing his arms into and outward from his body. That's it. That's his gimmick. It's dumb. It's useless. And it's just bad. The total package for Hot Rod is kind of a hot mess. In fact, that's what he should have been called. He's got pretty much the entire roof of the vehicle mode on his back. And he is top heavy. Like, really top-heavy. Ball joint in the hip, hinge in the knee, forget torso articulation, arm is on a ball joint, and then you've got the really bad gimmick here, and head is on a swivel. That's it. This transformation, literally grab the figure, pull the backpack away, turn it around 180 degrees, peg the legs together, which is surprisingly difficult, Take the chest, unpeg it, and fold it up, and flip it down, like so, and fold the arms up, peg them into the legs, and then just kind of collapse everything together. And I'm not even joking, this is the vehicle mode, and it looks atrocious. And I think that has to do with more of the figure's model in the show than anything else. This assault mode's bad. It is just ugly, and I don't know what's going on up front here. I mean, you can see the back of his head, and if you turn the head around 180 degrees, you can look and see where he's going upside down. See what I mean? I turned it around 180 degrees. He can see where he's going. Soundwave, on the other hand, does hold up a little bit better, but he is, I think, better in, well, terms of just coloring. The head sculpt is quite good and works well for the figure, and the gimmick is... It's silly, but it actually works. So you've got this whole setup behind him, push the satellite dish, and he gets a giant laser beak popping out of his chest, which we haven't even seen on the show yet. In terms of posability, Soundwave isn't much better. Head doesn't move at all. In terms of posability, Soundwave isn't much better. Head doesn't move at all. Arms are on ball joints, no swivel, bend the elbow. Shoulders do have a tendency to pop out very easily. Ball joint in the hip, no swivel, over 90 degree bend at the knee for the transformation. Hips are incredibly loose, and he is a chunky boy. I mean, look at all that backpack. That's for the gimmick. Now, transformation-wise, start off with take the head, or take the back area behind the head, and just literally swivel it around until it covers up the head, and close it up like that. Next for the body, grab the legs, push them together, grab the hips, and unpeg them and then flip the front of the vehicle mode around, like so, until the heels slide into place, peg it in, then turn the arms so that they're pointing straight up, fold the shoulders in, down, and just peg everything into place. And that's all she wrote. Now I think this alt mode is a little bit more successful. It could use a lot more paint. And I don't particularly care for the fists being visible in vehicle mode, but not much I could do about that. I'm actually tempted to send this to Grimlockamist to paint up and make it a little bit better. It rolls. It's fine. Yeah. I wouldn't buy either of these, honestly. I don't think either of these are that good. I really hope they that Hasbro releases a proper deluxe class version of this sound wave. I'd be okay with the same tra or similar transformation, just a better figure. Hot Rod is a hot mess. So yeah, especially at 
what, almost 15 bucks a pop. I wouldn't buy either of these. So folks, let me know what you think of these figures down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Bolt Matrix, and I'll catch you next time.